Hey guys, what's up? So this time uh, I'm going to be talking about truck stops because you guys have actually asked me about truck stops. Um, what they basically do for the modern trucker is provide the basics, fuel, parking, and food. Convenience. Um, fuel, obviously, because these trucks take a lot of fuel, mostly between 150 to 200 gallons at any given time, and your regular run-of-the-mill gas station is not going to have that. Uh, parking, these are large vehicles, you need a lot of space for that, and that's what they'll do. They usually are on a lot of land, and the spots are set up specifically for these trucks. And food, because, well, we gotta eat, and we don't always have food at the ready in the truck. Um, for, I mean, fuel, that's basic. Parking, basic. Uh, food, that depends on where you are. Uh, most of the places, the main uh, major chain truck stops will have major chain restaurants attached to them, such as McDonald's or Denny's or Subway, usually any of those. Um, some of the smaller mom and pop truck stops will have, you know, the home di home cooked diner or, you know, you know, this only localized to one region type of restaurant, but for the most part, you'll get something familiar no matter where you go. If you go to a major chain truck stop, which I always tend to stop at. Um, one, because I'll always, I'll always find them. Two, they have rewards programs, and the more I stop at them, the better the rewards are. Um, so while you're stopping at the truck stop, usually what you do is you get your fuel first, and then you come over and you find a spot. So once you, once you take care of that, then it's... Whatever is up to you. You need to do laundry, they got laundry. You want to take a shower, you go take a shower. You want to hang out in the driver's lounge and sit on semi-comfortable chairs and watch whatever cable TV with a bunch of random people? Sure, go ahead, you can do that too. I don't. I basically come in, get fuel, find parking, go in, grab a shower, get something to eat, come back out, done. So, um... But yeah, they will have all of the a lot of the conveniences from home, um, so that way you can kind of get your stuff done. Uh, they'll have, you know, internet, Wi-Fi, so you can connect. Um, they'll have faxing services, paperwork. So for your OTR guys, you know, you can send in your work. Um, they'll have, you know, things like stuff for your truck, you know, accessories, more just like the convenience store with snacks and drinks, but they'll also have actual, like, truck-related items, you know, such as uh, protective gear, uh, like vests and, and all that stuff. Um, they'll have actual truck equipment, like straps and tie-downs, and they'll also have, you know, paperwork accessories, you know, pens and notepads and binders. Um, they'll even have uh, up to electronics, you know, GPSs, Bluetooth, and, and radios and stuff like that. So, um, everything obviously there is meant for a truck, so you can go in, oh good, it's there, and you can, you can get it and go, and you won't have to worry about it not working or not fitting or anything like that. Um, another thing that they, they do provide is a lot of places will have uh, truck services. You need any maintenance done, you need tires or something like that. A lot of these places will have um, a truck shop where they will actually work on your vehicle for such things. Uh, the current one I'm sitting at does. It's actually a relatively um, large place for the area because the area I'm in doesn't have a lot of truck stops. Um, so when I do get to stop at one, I stop and I, you know, I use what I can. So, yes, taking a shower, it's at a truck stop. No, it is not what you're thinking of. It is basically, you're getting like a hotel room, the bathroom in a hotel room, basically something like that size. Sometimes a little bit bigger, sometimes a little bit smaller, but all the basic amenities. It's basically just a regular bathroom like you have in your house or in a hotel room that that you just use. That's it. They're constantly being cleaned. They always have fresh towels and 
whatever it is, and there you go. You, for this example, you go in, and I, you know, you buy usually 50 gallons of fuel, you get a free shower. That's how it works. Um, with TAs specifically, the rewards program, I have shower credits built up, so I go in, redeem a shower credit, it prints out a ticket, I look at the screen, it'll tell me what shower number to go to. Yesterday it happened to be shower number one. So we go in, it gives you a code for the door, you punch in your code, and you go, you take a shower. Take care of your business, you get out, and that's it. You just leave. They'll know you're gone as soon as you close that door again. They'll go in, they'll clean it, ready for the next guest. That's it. You know, some of the other um, things that Truck Stop will have, such as, I mentioned Driver's Lounge, they'll have like a game room or something like that. They'll have laundry facilities, things like that. Um, most drivers that I have spoken to and that I know could care less about a game room. What they want are more showers, more parking, and yeah, laundry facilities too, because this is the place you're going to get laundry, especially if you're out for two, three weeks at a time or more. Um, you need to, to take care of laundry. But yeah, um, restaurants usually attached. They have, like I said, a convenience store. We can get you snacks and drinks and other truck supplies. Some places will actually have little uh, local things, you know, souvenirs, depending on where you are in the country. Um, for example, the Iowa 80 in Walcott, Iowa is the world's largest truck stop. Um, that has parking for about 900 trucks or so, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it also has the wall of chrome and wall of lights. I don't remember what they call it. It's basically like all the truck accessories you can think of. LEDs and chrome on one wall and it is incredibly bright. They actually have full trucks inside the showroom on display. Uh, they have an entire food court and in a separate building outside of that they have a trucking museum. Full, like, the history of trucking and a lot of examples from way back when to modern days in the museum. It's actually really cool. If you're ever on I-80 heading through Iowa, stop at the Iowa 80, the world's largest truck stop. Um, you know, I've been there. It's pretty cool. I like it. But uh, yeah, truck stops are basically the conveniences you'll find from home out on the road, anywhere you go. So yeah, that takes care of that. And thanks for watching. Again, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Share, tell your friends. Maybe I'll have people watching this time. But yeah, thanks for hanging out, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.